Hey guys, Dr. Carrie here. Welcome to Vet Ranch Roundup. Here's my little dog, Hey Hey. He seriously, clearly has a rough life coming to work every day. He works really, really hard, but I am not even sure what all we have on the books for this week. I know we need to check in with all the patients that we have. I'm gonna introduce you guys to Timber. He's coming this week. He is a really cool Great Pyrenees puppy that's in a foster home, a foster to adopt situation. And we may have even a shelter visit scheduled because I think the shelter's getting pretty full. But let's kick off this week and see what needs saving. to do because he's so painful when he's awake. We would kind of get to hear and he would scream and then I would feel terrible. Both of his legs are just weird. His kneecaps are really loose and he just has so much muscle atrophy. Like he does not have nearly as much muscle as a dog his age would have. He's just a hot mess. We don't want to say it, but he's kind of a lemon. So these are Timber's x-rays that we took um, while he was under anesthesia. They are Terrible. He has like no hip socket, basically already a flattened head of his femur. And it's so bad that his hips are literally out of socket. I have never seen a dog this bad. We first got him probably about five months old and we've just been charting his progress. We really wanted him to finish growing before we went ahead and uh, did the surgery, but at this point we cannot wait anymore. So probably in a couple weeks we're gonna have him back and then we'll explain the surgery at that time that we're gonna do. Poor Timber, he's done with his surgery, but he's very mopey right now because he was neutered and he knows his legs are a mess. We're gonna fix you guys. We'll fix you, Timber. So one thing also that we do that you guys don't really get to see is that we, or I especially, go to the shelter and get animals when they are scheduled for euthanasia. They'll usually reach out and let us know that they're completely full and they need help moving dogs or cats out so that they don't have to euthanize. So we're gonna go and um, tried to network a bunch to get rescues to pull them. I emailed about one special dog in cage five that I wanted to pull because he's been there I think the longest um, and hasn't gotten adopted. So we definitely don't want to lose him. So we're gonna go pick him up and then I'm also gonna evaluate a mom with nine puppies. We're here at the shelter to get some pups and hopefully save some. Let's do a side by side of, I don't even know if it's a boy or a girl, of this girl and my dog Pippet because they look so much alike like they could, they could be in the same litter. Oh, oh, this is so cute. This is so cute. Freedom ride. She loves me. You just changed that dog's life. <laughs> this is why I shouldn't be allowed to go to the shelter myself. It's a much better idea if I have like a volunteer that just picks up and then drops off at the clinic because this is what happens. So this little dog is what we call the starter. So I'm gonna take this one in. They're gonna be like, what is that? What did you do? But they have no idea that we're gonna go get all those puppies. They're not gonna be happy. Okay. Well, it's trip two and I'm alone this time. So let's rescue some dogs. Buddy, you ready? <laughs> Mallory said you're awesome. You're her favorite! You're her favorite! Mom's like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where are they going? It's okay, Mom! Are they going together and the mom's by herself? Yeah, they'll fit. No, 
don't see it. They'll probably drown one another. Time to go in. You just totally lucked out. Things are looking up for you. All right, we are about to start vaccinating mom. Um, they did vaccines and everything, I believe. They got video of that on Clarissa, is what I'm naming the little Chihuahua pug, aka Chug. And she, Nora, did you find any? Nora's looking at a stool sample for Django, our big guy. And he's full of worms, and so is Clarissa. Actually, she has hookworms. This is a little puppy that apparently the other puppies were trying to drown at the shelter, so it's pretty worn out now. Uh oh, we have ticks. Ooh, what's all those ticks? Got some ticks right here. It is tick season here, so it's not super surprising. I hope they're not all the puppies. That's gonna be no, that'll be no fun. There's you and the worms as well. Cool, we'll go look at that. We're looking what at a full sample up for the puppies. Yeah, they're oh, OMG, these are all hookworm eggs. What? Whipworm eggs? Is that mom's? This is mom. There's around. There's everybody. All in one view. Hi, everybody. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Whipworm. Hookworm. Whipworm. That's an air bubble. We could take those all day long. Make sure we don't have Man, any coccidia, too. Mom is loaded. Oof. Whoa. There's the heartworm no test is already positive. Positive. So we're showing you the mom's blood cells and you can almost see a little translucent worms moving about and those are the microfilaria stages of heartworms. Okay, mom. Right. Right. Do you want to weigh her? Let's weigh her and then we'll do her tick stuff. First one's a boy. Get some dewormers prophylactically to get it started, but we'll still check a stool sample. Ugh. That is not, oh, that does not taste the blood my mom gets me. That's gross. <laughs> the white like that, no. <laughs> Your little tail. That's cute. Uh -huh. white tip on it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, this is my favorite puppy so far. Number three. Oh, you're little. Teeny tiny. We were trying to make these collars ahead of time so they'd work, but we didn't anticipate on the micro mini dog here. Yeah, this is not count. There you go. This one's name should be Hoss, the big daddy. Boy. Next puppy is a male. We sedated her and we're looking at this little flap. It's probably just gonna need to be cut off, but I need to explore to make sure that there's not any ligament damage. So I did decide to go ahead and suture it up because I think there's some important vessels and stuff there that we need. So it may not hold great, but we're gonna at least cover everything and kind of hope that it granulates in and do another surgery if we need to down the road. All right, I sutured everything up, and now we're gonna just bandage it. Actually, let's leave it open. I think it looks pretty good. As long as she has a cone on, and then we'll check it each day. Let's reverse her. Oh my gosh, you guys, what a crazy week. We rescued so many dogs. 
Totally was not expecting that, but so glad that we did. Love seeing those puppies happy and out of the shelter. Thank you guys so much for watching our videos. Of course, thank you to Abandoned Pet Project for funding those videos, and we could not do that without you guys donating through them. Also, if you like our videos and you believe in what we're doing, please hit that subscribe button. It shows so much support and give us a thumbs up and we will see you guys next week. We have a lot to do. Bye.